Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio grid which you can filter. And we'll test this on the Genesis sample child theme. We'll use the Divi Builder plugin. So let's just go over the, to the test installation. And here's the final result. What it's got is four videos with a cover image for each. And it's got the filterable portfolio underneath. And it uses four categories, but you can use tags, you can use custom post types, you can use anything you like. And these are just uh, eight single, uh, single posts or single projects which have been added to the project custom post type. As soon as you install the Divi plugin, it creates a, a project custom post type. So this only takes about two or three minutes to make this entire page using the Divi Builder plugin. So let's just go into the back end. Uh, let's just check out the theme. We've got the Genesis Sample Child theme, which is uh, very popular. Here it is here. I've just renamed that because I used it to test something. Um, and we've got Divi down here. Um, I haven't configured any options or anything. Here's the project's custom post type that the Divi Builder plugin adds. So we, if we have a look at all projects, and we go down to uh, one of the projects, it's just a single custom post type. It's got a title. I've selected a category. I haven't even added any content. And I've added a featured image. So I've added eight of these projects. And we can put them into a filterable portfolio. Now to do that, we can just select a, a new post. Um, let's use, uh, let's title this new. Uh, click on use the builder plugin. And uh, insert columns. Let's insert four columns because we need them for the videos. And uh, let's go down here. We've got all these options to choose from, call to action, gallery, filterable, portfolio, sliders, video sliders. Let's just choose video. I've already uploaded a, a video to my WordPress media library, so we'll choose that. We'll set this video. We'll set a background, uh, or I should say an image overlay image. So I'll just choose one of these images from the media library. Save this. And let's just go through and we'll add, uh, we'll add the same video just for this demonstration. Image upload. You can see how easy it is to add uh, videos and, and an overlay image in using the Divi Builder plugin. Now to code all this would take a substantial amount of custom code and a lot of time and effort if you wanted to hand code it. Alright, so we've got all that. Let's just publish the post. And we'll take a look at what we've got. Now, we've got our four videos there with the overlay image. Um, it's using a content sidebar. We can change that layout. We can use the Genesis layout options. So we go to layout settings. Let's just choose full width. And this all works perfectly well with uh, the Divi Builder plugin. So we've got full width now. We just need to add the filterable portfolio. We've already created, previously created, um, eight single projects and we've only added a title selected a category because we want to filter by category and added a feature image we haven't even uh, added any content so now we need to add the filterable portfolio so let's just click on add row insert module Filterable portfolio, full width, we'll choose grid. Number of posts, well we've added eight, so we'll choose eight. Select all the categories, we've only created four for this demonstration. Show title, show category, show uh, pagination. We can change the text color 
We can add custom CSS classes. We don't really need any of that for this demonstration. So we'll just save that. Now let's just check out the result. So there we have it, pretty straightforward, only took a few minutes and we've added a filterable portfolio. We're using categories to filter. So it's got this isotope effect. And that was a lot easier to do than hand coding it. So uh, you can add that on any page in Genesis. Uh, the Divi Builder plugin works with any theme. Uh, there's a lot of different design options. Uh, but you, as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. I've only been playing around with it for about 15 or 20 minutes. So uh, if you're looking for a design plugin and you've just got no interest in coding, but you want to get a site up and running quickly, this is a pretty good option. So um, see you next time. Cheers.